The VolQuest Two Minute Drill is brought to you by Craven Wings. Alongside Eric Kane, Brent Hubbs here for the Craven Wings VolQuest.com Two Minute Drill. If you're looking for Austin Price, he is in parts unknown, somewhere <laughs> around Juno Beach. I'm not sure exactly what's happening there, but I don't know. We may get a gift from him later today. We'll have to wait and see. Again, thanks to our good friends from Craven Wings for their uh, continued support of VolQuest.com. Eric, we had a chance to talk to uh, the Clemson defensive guys today and Tennessee's offensive guys today. Let's start with Tennessee's offense. What, what was your biggest takeaway in visiting with uh, a handful of players today? Yeah, just the common theme was uh, they're focused. They're kind of locked in, and there's so many distractions for a bowl game. You've mentioned a couple of times a bowl game is kind of its own little deal, right? It's a month removed from the regular season. You've got opt-outs. You have holidays. You have finals. And I asked, you know, how, how are you guys dealing with all that type of stuff? And they said, hey, we're locked in, ready to roll. We've been, we've been practicing. We've obviously practicing here now on site and said that they're engaged and just ready to get there and play some football. So that was that. And then another thing that I, I kind of picked up on, everybody's got Joe Milton's back. They want Joe Milton to succeed. They know what he's capable of. Jabari Small says the running backs are trying to be his best friend, give him a lot to work with, and obviously the offensive line trying to give him protection so he can go out there and make plays. Yeah, Joe Milton was the center of attention today. All the questions, a lot of the questions surrounding Joe Milton. Joe Milton himself visited with the media. No surprise, Joe Milton has plenty of confidence. He's yeah. had confidence. He doesn't lack for confidence. He never has lacked for confidence. Uh, but Joey Halsley, the quarterback's coach, was here. You know, he said this game counts. You know, it counts for the resume for Joe Milton, but made it very clear that this could be an open quarterback competition yeah. come spring. There, there is no locked in anything. You're not winning the job this game. You're not losing the job this game. It's going to be an open competition. Everybody in the quarterback room is aware of that. It's already been discussed. Their focus is on this game, and he expects Joe Milton to go out and play well and get help from around uh, everybody here. I think one of the challenges for this game is can Tennessee run the football? Jabari yep. Small said uh, Clemson, very multiple up front, can cause a lot of problems. Yeah, they absolutely can. And that's, you know, even though Miles Murphy's not playing in this game and one of their starting linebackers not playing in this game, they rotate a lot of guys up front. They're big on the interior, they're athletic on the edge. They've got running backs and Jeremiah Trotter that can go sideline to sideline. So there's going to be challenges there. I mean, this is a good defense, one of the best defense in the country. And again, to help Joe Milton out, to make him as comfortable as he possibly can be, you want to establish that run game. So Jabari Small mentioned that a couple of times. And back to your comment on Joey Halsey, hey, I think Tennessee wants Joe Milton to be that guy next year. I think everybody expects that to happen. I'm still a little surprised he said that on the record today. You know, hey, it's going to be a complete open competition come spring. But a chance for Joe Milton to go out there and maybe make his best case here today. Well, and, and again, it, you know, Joe Milton's going to have a leg up because he's got yeah. experience on his resume, but he's got to go out and earn it. And that was the point Joey Halsey was making. A couple of final things. Hendon Hooker is here. Uh, Joey Halsey is saying that Hendon Hooker actually, when he was in California following his surgery, when he was out there, actually zoomed into the quarterback meeting to go over the call sheet to understand the game plan. And he has been talking to Joe Milton either via Zoom or now down yep. here together to try to do everything he can to help Joe Milton be ready to play. Hendon Hooker completely dialed in. As for Halsey upstairs, he said nothing really changes in his world. He's just going to continue to view the game through the quarterback's lens and help uh, Josh Heupel with any play call they have. Does not think that there will be a big transition without Alex Golish being in the box. Yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens. I, I think that he'll be asked a little bit more. It might not be drastic or anything, but Alex Golish is not going to be in the box. Joey Halsey will be his eyes, his number one set of eyes up there. So a good opportunity for Joey Halsey as well. Hidden Hooker, as you pointed out, doing all he can to help the team. Jalen Hyatt is in South Beach as well. He is, you know, being around the team as well. So I think um, you're finishing off practice today. They'll have a little workout tomorrow, and then it's it's game time on Friday. Yep, we'll see what happens. Joint head coaching press conference tomorrow. We'll have full coverage of that. Basketball coverage tonight. Plenty of things going on at VolQuest.com. Again, thanks to our good friends at Craven Wings. Be sure and check out those three locations during this holiday season. For Eric Kane, I'm Brent Hubbs. When you're Craven Wings, it's got to be Craven Wings. Online at CravenWings.com.